Hello everybody and welcome to the Slime Files where we go over stuff that I discovered in the past and just didn't publish at the time. Today we're going to be looking at a couple of modifications, improvements, whatever to the lag machine by 77 Tigers. Right now I'm in an older version of the game to demonstrate this. I'll go why over that in, in a minute, but anyways, this is the lag machine by 77 Tigers. This lag machine takes advantage of a particular quirk of Bedrock Redstone. You see, Bedrock tries to go ahead and pre-calculate all of the redstone ahead of time so that it knows what everything is going to be able to power. And in this case, we have a bajillion redstone producers. They can each power a bajillion redstone dust. So, if we were to go ahead and modify the circuit, that means it's going to have to go through and recalculate the whole thing. And that means it's going to have to go through every redstone dust for every single target block. So it scales quadratically, if you know what that means. And if we go ahead and turn on this little metronome, hopefully it's not too annoying, uh, you'll see that, yeah, every time we modify it, it lags out the game for a moment. You know, the game freezes because it has to do a lot of processing. And if we go ahead and turn this thing on, yeah, you'll notice that it is now lagging on every single redstone tick. And this has been pretty much the main idea behind the, the lag machine for quite a while now. Now, there's a couple of problems with this. First off, it only lags on every redstone tick, not every game tick. So only every other game tick, and so the game ends up a little jarring. Like, you'll notice that they kind of go down, like, you know, in a very jarring way. Uh, yeah. And then the other problem is that as of the current version of Minecraft, well, target blocks now cut off redstone, which means that this whole layout doesn't work. So here we are in the latest version of the game, and as I said before, target blocks now cut off redstone, so the original design doesn't quite work. No worries, we do have a couple of other producers that we can place redstone on, uh, redstone blocks and observers, and both of these have their own little problems. The first is that the uh, redstone blocks, uh, they just don't work if you try to do it with them, like they also in a way cut off redstone, at least I'm pretty sure they do. Anyways, uh, and as for the observers, well it does work, uh, it's just that um, if you were to do it, it is now just one small mistake away from just complete chaos. I mean, if we had a lot more observers it would be a lot more chaotic. Well it turns out, if you use them together, it works pretty well. Uh, as long as uh, each observer is within two spaces of a redstone block, then uh, the signal might be able to propagate through, but it'll never create a feedback loop. Of course, this still doesn't really solve all the problems. People have figured out other layouts as well, um, but it still only lags on every other game tick. Uh, but turns out, there is actually a way around that. In order to get the game to lag on every game tick, all we really need to do is, you know, have something that will allow us to lag the game on p ticks, or just in some way have an odd tick delay that will then create a new block. And as I said before, so pistons don't work, they're completely just consumers. Uh, of course, dispensers can also place stuff and remove them, but they're also consumers, and their delay is even. So, I mean, ultimately, dispensers would just be a worse version of pistons, because, like, you pretty much have to use powder snow. Like, if you were to use water, like, it will flow everywhere. And so you'd have to make sure to pick it up before, you know, it starts flowing after exactly five game ticks. So, uh, you get four waterlogged pistons and do things just right, and then a moment after it starts up, it will be lagging on every single game tick, creating a much smoother laggy experience. Yeah, uh, so world download is in the description, 
subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. We still have a lot of episodes left to go in the slime files. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. YouTube Analytics tells me that only 7.8% of the first million natural numbers are actually prime. So let's see if we can change that.